life that will keep them from becoming a king. Father, anoint them with your Holy Spirit, please. And let all of us be ready for the coming of Jesus. Help us, O oh God, we need you desperately. Help us. I praise you once again for blessing us, loving us, caring for us, desiring us just the way we are. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, O Lord, in Jesus' name. You continue to place these young people in your heart, in your hands, dear Lord. As in the upper room, you have break the hearts of the apostles. Brought them, their Lord, to a brokenness of heart, and they have been filled with the Holy Spirit. Lord, we beseech for your mercy. Have mercy on us, dear God, because we have just been blinded of the enemy's work in our lives. We thought that we were already right with our relationship with you when we are too far from you. We have placed many things between you and us that disconnected us to you, dear loving Father. And at times we place ourselves to a confusing way thinking that we could be at times for the world and at times for you. And it continually break our relationship with you. My dear friends, if you still have the mindset that you are still entitled for the world, it will really lead us to the world. We are not bound for earth. We are bound for heaven. And so I pray, dear loving Father, that as these young people are having a decision between life and death, I pray, dear Lord, that you may continually give them the burden to surrender their lives to you. It needs to be a constant surrender. Never give a space for them, dear loving Father. Remind them, let the Holy Spirit take full charge of them, to remind them of surrendering their selves to you, even to die for their own self. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, the old self will continually be living again. And it needs to die so that new life will continue on in your lives. Indeed, after this conference, the devil will continue to hurl his darts upon you in the greatest extent to bring you back to him. But it is our prayer that may Jesus Christ put a hedge of safety around you and never let the devil prevail upon this. Because there is one thing for sure, Satan is already defeated for. Father God, bless the decisions of these young people. I continually pray that you may use them as a mighty vessel. Whatever shape they may have, whatever instrumentalities that they may have, let it all be used for the furtherness of your work, starting in themselves, to their family, and even to the extents of people, region, and much more, dear God, with every place that you will be praying. Dear loving Father, as we open our eyes and bend up this prayer, may we never be the same again, dear Lord. And may we move from this place, being with Jesus, enamored, dear Lord, Father, and walking with you day by day. Thank you for the assurance that you will seal this prayer, because nothing and no one could ever make it possible for us than you and you alone. This all we pray, dear Lord, Father. Because we ask this and we believe that you are taking the light to let this be our experience. Because we ask this in the precious name of our crucified, risen, and soon coming Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let all God's people see.